Hi guys, this is Alex again from the Growing Younger team and the Body Fit Physiotherapy in Howick. Now last, in the last video we talked about um, running and the risk of uh, hip and knee osteoarthritis and we've established that running does not seem, it, is, it doesn't seem to be causing arthritis later in life. Now a lot of you have come back to me that you messaged me and you said what about other sports, what about things like soccer and rugby and um, you know, tennis or any other sports, what, what about those sports, do they actually put you at risk of uh, developing arthritis? So what I did, I, I went away and I did a little bit of research and um, I've come up with a, a bit of information for you that you might be interested in. So what I actually found is that um, soccer players, um, there's, there's a few studies on, the, on soccer and uh, one study in particular says that elite soccer players um, have a 73% increase in the chances of being admitted to a hospital with osteoarthritis of the knee joint. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense. So we've established in the last video that running doesn't seem to be causing arthritis. But then again, soccer players are at high risk of arthritis. So for, for decades, we actually thought that um, soccer players, you know, they, they get uh, more knee problems because of excessive running they do. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be the case. In, in, in fact, the researchers think that the reason why soccer players in particular are more prone to osteoarthritic changes in their knees is because of the, uh, the knee injuries that they get. Okay, So it's not to do with running, it's more to do with the knee injuries that they get during their uh, playing time. Okay, And on top of the soccer, uh, soccer players, we also have studies that cover the American football. Now, a lot of this research comes from America, so uh, they, they do a lot of research on American football. But in many ways, it's very similar to rugby, so we can actually compare it to rugby. Okay. Um, so this one particular study, they actually uh, followed up American football players for 20 years, and what they actually found is that the American football players were, they weren't more likely to get uh, knee arthritis unless they had significant knee injuries during their career. Okay, so what it means is, what what it means to you is that the playing the sport itself doesn't seem to be causing arthritic changes in your knee. But if you do get knee injuries in that um, while you're playing, it certainly does put you at high risk of getting knee um, knee problems later in life. Now, another study found that 80% uh, of American football players with knee injuries will get knee arthritis within 10 to 30 years. So it's almost like, it almost seems to be a certainty. If you have a, if you play American football, which could translate to rugby in this country, um, it almost, it's almost a certainty that you may get um, knee arthritis in 10 to 30 years if you suffer a severe knee injury, okay? Another study is found that it only takes about 10 years after a significant ACL, so cruciate ligament or meniscus injury for, uh, for the first symptoms of osteoarthritis in the knee to appear. So only 10 years for an athlete that suffers a, a significant knee injury, um, it only takes 10 years for, for osteoarthritis to set in. Okay? Um, now another one more study that I'm going to mention today, professional footballers are twice as, as likely to get knee osteoarthritis with every additional severe knee injury or surgery. Okay, so every time you, you sustain uh, an injury to your knee while playing football, now I think that uh, concerns different um, codes of football, you actually increase your chances of getting knee arthritis uh, twofold. Okay, so something to think about. Now, that actually highlights the importance of, of getting proper rehab. Okay, so if you do if you do play football, soccer, rugby, rugby league, it's very important that you, if you do sustain a knee injury, that you actually get it treated. Go and see a physio, go and see a doctor, make sure that you actually get proper care because another um, uh, finding that some of these researchers have, um, have uh, exposed is that uh, a lot of the time, uh, the risk of osteoarthritis also increases if the person doesn't get proper rehab after the injury. So it's very important that you go and see your uh, physio or doctor to get the sorted. Now, 
On top of all, uh, we talked about mostly football, soccer, rugby, rugby league. Now, if, if I haven't covered the sport that you play, so you might be playing tennis or basketball or wrestling, um, I've actually put together a little uh, free report, okay? It's, uh, I think I've included 12 different sports that I could find information about, and uh, I've described if this particular sport is, um, puts you at high risk of developing arthritic changes in your hip or knee, okay? So uh, what you'll find in the free report is there's a table, and it tells you how many times uh, this particular sport, uh, sport uh, increases your chances of getting arthritis, okay? Now, if you'd like to get access to this free report, you can just click on the link uh, in, in the headline of this video, and all you have to do is just go to that web page and uh, type in your email, and, and we'll send you the, uh, the free report, okay? So if you're interested, do that now, and um, I'll see you on the next video.